Whoa, we got some. We got a clan castle full of uh, loons there. So that uh, came out of nowhere. What is up, guys? It is Duke, and I'm back with more Bronze League farming. Yep, Bronze League farming. Down here low, I just went in. I wasn't even going to start recording yet. I was going to go ahead and get warmed up with my uh, my farming skills here, which is uh, very minimal. So, But my first one I clicked in at, you're looking at over 600 in uh, gold and over five, 500 in uh, elixir. So what we're going to do is we're going to come through and start. I only have all archers here, which is usually better for... Uh, I guess these roundabout exterior type of um, collector raids here. But in this case, I'm going to go through and I'm going to try and get right in here. We got the baby mortar sitting out there. But let me see if I can get in on this. I'm going to drop my queen, which I really didn't want to do. But I want to get inside to this base here. I want to get in there and I want to get at those uh, centralized uh, collectors. So hopefully we can just punch through here. And they can start going in. I don't really don't know what's going to be in the center of this base to kind of stop us. Looks like Queen is working her way in. Uh, looks like the troops are starting to really just focus on those storages here. We're just going to bring them in in kind of like a parade. It is like an archer parade, if you will. So hopefully there's no big time splash damage in the center there, but there's not. Uh, and when I say big time, I'm just so used to going up against some of these, uh, I guess, bigger uh, Masters Champion League uh, defenses. And here, this guy is a Town Hall 10 with, uh, wow, pretty much level 1. Is that a level 1 uh, Wizard Tower? I haven't seen that in like four years. So uh, this guy, he's, he's rocking it though. There's no shame in his game. He's got the uh, the level 1 uh, pieces up on, uh, up on his base here. So it looks like... Uh, I might have to uh, pop the ability in a second here to get rid of that pesky archer tower. It takes like two and a half shots to, to uh, get rid of it. But really, if you look now, she is home free. You have one little archer sitting up there uh, trying to take out that Town Hall 11. She's used to hitting these Town Hall 11s, but she's not used to hitting these little level 1 and defenses let me pop that ability because we're down to 20 seconds we still got a good amount of gold floating in here queen you got to do your thing you got to do it quick so uh she's going to rip through and she's going to help that little archer up top take that out we have three gold uh collectors here of course queen's going to focus over on that spell oh looks like we got one two and boom taking it down so excellent job by the girls doing their farming thing so like i said awesome awesome kickoff to the video here 638,000 gold 515,000 elixir so hey for those of you guys who might question bronze league farming here is your evidence right off the bat here awesome job star bonus which is only 50,000 so hey that's one thing that you really cannot ask too much for is your loot bonus and your league bonus but you really make it up with some of these monster raids here and uh, i pretty i do have a uh, uh 240 goblins rolled up so we're gonna go uh, archers goblins maybe we'll do another archer raid and then another goblin raid here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to train up these troops here i'm going to train up my archers and then i'm going to go into my uh train troop screen and I'm going to boost up, so just for the sake of the video, trying to roll through so I'm not sitting here for, for too long of a time. I'm going to boost them up because these guys will go through quick. So hopefully we'll find a base for the goblins where the loot is on the outside, not on the inside. Because I'm not bringing any wall breakers. We're going all mass troops. And then we will uh, jump right back into it. So we're going to go search and we're going to go looking for another base here and see how long it takes us uh, really do enjoy the farming down here it is kind of a different it's not a uh, it's not a stressful type thing not that i really get stressed over farming but uh, i don't have to worry about my base getting hit i do every time i log off down here in bronze i log back on and i gain like 400 trophies i jump from like in the 600 trophy range i jump up to uh like 1200 trophies because guys are either dropping trophies on my base or they're coming in with like level one dragon attacks to uh 
try and get one of my uh, dark elixir storages which has nothing in it because they probably don't know how to look at a dark elixir storage and find out if it's empty in there uh, that there's no dark elixir in there or if it's full in there then they'll know to hit it but hey you know I pretty much did the same thing when I was down in the uh, in the lower leagues I really didn't know how to look at a base and read it so uh, if you don't know what that means if you're just watching you just uh, you know checking out the content here not really knowing too much this uh, dark el this actually elixir uh, pump here has nothing in it so when you're gonna go farm and you're looking make sure that it has something in that make sure it's full and packed out uh, some guys don't always know that so we take it for granted here at this level Ooh, look at this hmm this is kind of what you want to go for if you look at this one right here uh, it is chock full of elixir and the gold down here but I don't want my 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 goblins to get taken out too fast so they're gonna get hit by some splash damage let me see if I can um, maybe go ahead with my queen I'm gonna drop my queen and I'm gonna throw a couple goblins in there sprinkle some through here looks like there is a of course a Tesla hiding out on the side there Queen, I don't want to use her ability anytime soon. I do panic when I farm, so just uh, bear with me. I'm sure it's a, uh, a comical thing because uh, going through something like this, uh, especially a live attack here, uh, you know, you're trying to do the right thing, you're trying to look cool, calm, and collected, but uh, that's not always the case. I, I panic, I panic fast, uh, so I'm quick to pop the ability for the queen. It looks like most of this base is already wrecked, so I'm just going to go ahead and bring the parade in. Queen is uh, got her ability popped, so we're just going... Oh, let me save. I forgot about these guys over here. So we have a couple, a uh, little bit of loot coming down on the side there. So it looks like we are going to go ahead and take this guy for all that he's got. So uh, you can find a rusher every minute down here. Uh, I don't even know if they know that it's rushing. Uh, uh, my buddy Echo through me brought up a good point where I was calling these guys either engineered or let's get out of there. Queen's taking uh, some hits down there. It looks like it was a very good attack. I didn't even look to see what I wound up with. So wound up with 393,000 gold, 424 elixir. So still getting the dark. So between those two raids, I was able to get 2,000 dark elixir, which is not really why we're down here. We're down here to farm gold and elixir as you can see right there over a million in gold and pretty much uh, up close to a million in elixir just in two quick raids so it looks like the uh, the girls are going through they're getting a, to be about finished here archers are rolling through and then my queen has got 22 minutes down we're going to go ahead and boost her up five gems i was able to find a uh, a gem box right before i came on you guys know i don't buy gems just because uh YouTubers life isn't always uh, you know a big profitable thing especially when you got 5,000 subs it's not like you're rolling in it so uh, I'm, I'm, I'm digging up trees and bushes and stumps just like you guys are so was able to get that gem box so we're boosting up our camps and we are boosting up the Queen King is down of course he is going to level 38 looking to get him up to uh, max sometime in the future I'm not stressing over it now I'm looking to go ahead and get that golden elixir so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to wait until this army is all set up and then we're gonna get back at it find another base to get rolling with alright it looks like the Queen is back up and roaming around her little area here roaming around her pad so uh, we're gonna look to see archers are done of course they're on the boost they got done quick so we're going to jump in. We're going to try and find another match here with some mega loot. Then we'll jump in, check it out, see what we can come up with here. Um, what I talked about in the first Bronze League farming video was that you see a ton of these crazy bases down here. You either see uh, some uh, non-defensed base, just like, well, non-walls. You got some defenses here. We got some uh, beastly level one air defenses. So you have some wallless bases here. It's probably like a second account for someone uh, wants to try something different. Engineered wise, or you see some bases that maybe just somebody plays and they don't really know what they're doing. Uh, Echo said it's probably maybe some six year old kid coming home from uh, kindergarten looking to jump on like an iPad or uh, his little iPod and play some Clash of Clans and not really knowing what to do but just having fun uh, regardless 
We can see this base here. This is kind of an amazing base design here. This is like the uh, the diamond, the diamond base here, if you will, of Town Hall Nines. So uh, my boy Stabber coming up with a crazy one, putting all of his loot right into the center. As you saw in the uh, the, the first attack of this video, uh, not a very smart thing to do because once guys get in there and get to that loot, it is toast and it is over with. So uh, not a smart thing to do, Stabber, but. As you can see, there's a town hall on the outside for sniping, a la about three years ago. Another town hall down there, and some of these, some of these bases down here. As you can see over here, it's uh, we got the outside snipey action here. That's uh, that's so old school. But some of these guys may have just stopped playing the game. Unknown over here, he's still in the clan, so uh, maybe that clan is dead. Uh, we're gonna go and uh, maybe we'll just drop. Uh, the queen down here do a little sniping for old days drop some trophies get out of there before I get the uh, the attack of the stars on that so that's usually what I like to do just fool around just have fun playing the game and enjoy it uh, sniping town halls look at this one Wow that is uh, rather amazing but I'm not going to bore you with all of the sights down here the craziness of bronze league You've seen a little bit last video. You've seen it in this video what we're up against, the freak show. So we're going to get back into it once we find a base. We're not going to hit this one. Uh, 245, 273 is uh, is decent, but I want something bigger. I'm, uh, I'm aiming for the stars here trying to get all kinds of loot. So we'll come back in a few seconds. Okay, it looks like we found what I'm going to go at. This is... <laughs> Something like this really just racks my brain because it's so different and it's so uh, interesting and from what you're used to. Uh, go ahead and run back to your uh, your town hall there, little builders. Uh, hop in that boat, if you will, because I'm coming in here, Rush Hero. So as you can see, all this loot here. Over a million in this base here. World War Three is about to go down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in the archers. There's not many defenses at all in this base here. So I'm going to bring in my queen just for a little bit of a help here. This queen should go down quick. She is already toast. Let me see if I can bring in the archers up on the top there. We got what like a miniature. I don't even know if that's level 1. That's like a level 0.5 cannon in there. Uh, let me see if we can take care of his king. We should swallow up this base pretty good. We're going with a little... Two fingered. Oh, we got some. We got a clan castle full of uh, loons there. So that uh, came out of nowhere. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to take those down. Queenie's going to help out. Really, I don't need those archers to, to stay living to survive. All I need is that queen. No defenses left on this base here. We got some skeleton traps over there. But it is going to be pretty much a free for all now. Getting his loot in the center. Uh, Mr. Rush Hero thought he was slick putting the loot in the center there that no one was going to get to, but he really didn't expect uh, uh, a Clashing Duke to come in here with his Town Hall 10 and go ahead and smack him around. So uh, taking his loot, taking all he's got, and you know what? I'm going to swag right on top of uh, World War III. I don't even know if he checks it, but he has a clan castle full of uh, loons in there, so maybe he's going to war. So we're going to swag right on top of his loot, which is my loot now. So uh, thank you, Rush Hero, for rushing your base and collecting all that loot, which I'm taking now. So over a milli here, doing the job, getting it done. This was exactly what we were looking for down here in Bronze League Farming. So uh, thumbs up for that one now. So that's awesome. Let me see how quickly we can turn this around. We have our gobs are all set to go. We're ready to rock and roll. Queen is still standing. She uh, did not get affected at all by that last raid. So we're going to jump in for number four here. So let's get in and see what we can find here. It's uh, Hopefully it won't be too long. So what we're going to do is we're going to pause. We're going to jump into the next raid here in about a second. Boom! -ah! This is it. This is why... We bronze league farm. This is why we brought 240 goblins to the battle here. 719,000 gold, 454,000 elixir about to be mine right here. So let's go ahead and we'll get into it. Uh, let me see if there's anything floating around that I need to be careful for. Uh, which really shouldn't be an issue. I don't even think he has a, uh, a uh, an archer queen. 
Doesn't look like it to me. I'm sure there'll be something floating around, but uh, the Black Ops is about to go down here. We're going to go two-finger deployment all the way around this uh, this base here. Get some uh, get some goblins there in the bottom and just watch that loot start to uh, decline and rack up. So, uh, wonderful thing here. It is a thing of beauty. Where is the rest of that gold? So... I think we started off with seven, so we still got about 400,000 in gold here. I really don't want to go ahead with my uh, queen and take anything else out here. I was able to get in there. Man, those, those, uh, those goblins are going nuts, so Max, the uh, goblins doing their thing, showing off. Still able to get a ton of the loot, not all of it, so uh, I thought the majority of it, actually, which it was, I thought mostly all of it would be in the, uh, the gold mines here, but I'm not even going to bother. Queen, she uh, she had a long day doing some great things, so uh, that is going to be it for my Bronze League farming attacks here. We're going to go and spend some of that loot, so 529,000 gold, 432,000 elixir, which is uh, two thumbs up here from me. Uh, I think this one went a lot better than the last one. I was not too uh, patient last time. Which patience is not one of my uh, great attributes. So uh, I'm quick to, after about 10 or 15 next, to go ahead and want to smack that attack button. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to spend some of that loot here. We got 7 million uh, gold and 7 million uh, elixir. I'm kind of wanting to hold on to that elixir though because uh, you never know what could be happening. Uh, down the line here with some uh, upgrades which uh, you know we're looking to get in here pretty much all of my elixir uh, upgrades are done for the moment uh, except for my dark elixir spells so we're gonna go ahead and do something that is a first here on the clashing Duke channel that is going to be to gear up our cannon it's never been done I think my builder guy from the uh, the builders hall is uh, he's good to go I think he's uh, sleeping he's not working so we're gonna go ahead and we are gonna hit that gear up button 1.5 million requires your master builder hopefully beardy is not asleep and we're gonna hit it so cool where is he coming is he bringing his boat over is he bringing the boat there he is he's got his little boat that is so cute and he is running he is so excited to uh, gear up a cannon get that thing rolling he's got those blueprints in his little arm Pulling him out, checking it out. Let's go look at his boat here. I never really saw his boat on this side. That is adorable, uh, little builder's boat. So, and he also gets a uh, a medal for uh, how quickly he can uh, paddle across there. It took the hog rider and the wizard. It took them what a week, a week and a half to get across that water. He scooted right over there like the flash. So uh, I hope you guys liked hanging out with me doing some of these. Uh, Bronze League farming attacks here. It was successful. was able to get a ton of loot and uh, really mission accomplished. So if you like the video, make sure you thumbs up on it. Make sure you subscribe for future ones to see if we're going to be hanging down in the Bronze League. And we're always doing our uh, war recaps, some uh, war strategy content. And uh, we'll catch you guys later.